Did you know ASBN, America's Small Business Network, is now available on your TV? That's right. ASBN is now streaming on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire Stick, and available for download in the App Store. Scan the QR code to download the ASBN app today. Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick, exclusively on ASBN.com. Hey everyone, I'm Jim Fitzpatrick. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of the Small Business Show exclusively right here at ASBN.com and now streaming on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. Today we are discussing the significance of business growth strategies and the powerful influence of your mindset. Joining us now is Will Paulson, who's the keynote speaker, author, executive coach, and host of Make It Happen podcast uh, with Will Paulson. Uh, Will has spoken at TEDx and blogged for the Huffington Post and many others. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Will. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Sure. So before we get started, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so for those few viewers out there that may not be as familiar with you as we are here at the show, tell us about your entrepreneurial journey. Absolutely. So the, the short version is I grew up with a belief that money equaled happiness and went on a, a tangent to make as much money as I could as, as early as I could and uh, did, did okay at that. And then 10 years ago, I had a big realization, what I call my lightning moment, uh, where I cried my eyes out for about 15 minutes, where I realized that my real driver was nothing to do with money. It had never really been about money. It was all to do with my dad and how my dad hadn't achieved certain things he was capable of mm. and the impact that had on him and my mum and me and my family and a whole host of other people. So from that moment on, I vowed I didn't want anyone else to go through the suffering that he went through and we went through. And I've been obsessed with anything to do with human awareness, human potential, and human performance since. Wow, that, that, that's uh, that's fantastic. And there's a lot of entrepreneurs that need your advice, that's for sure. So you're a mindset strategist. What do you believe are the most critical mindset attributes for entrepreneurs and business leaders? Great question. I think it's understanding that success, however we define it, and of course success is subjective, is 80% yeah. mindset, 20% skills and mechanics. Mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of my, my opinion. And it starts with just having absolute clarity, absolute clarity on exactly where we want to go and what we want to do. Because peak performance is your potential minus interference. And that interference can be the internal dialogue. It can be old belief patterns. It could be um, even the strategy, an incorrect strategy that uh, that is going to prevent us from, from getting the outcome that we want. Sure, sure. Uh, entrepreneurs often struggle with the imposter syndrome that we've heard so much about. How can entrepreneurs make changes in their mindset while dealing with this uh, this real issue? So I think um, one of the, the challenges that a lot of people have is that they, they're so focused on what they haven't got rather than what they have got. So they're focused on the gap rather than the gain of kind of where they've been. Right. And one of the, the key things, in, in my opinion, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a, a geek for language. I believe that worlds create, uh, words create worlds. And one of the, the, the key words is boast. And the root origin, the etymology of the word boast means to inflate. Now, if you were to overinflate a tire, it will burst, it will pop, it's no good for your car. That's right. But if you underinflate your tire, the same will happen. Yeah. So it's about getting in that Goldilocks zone of, of telling yourself what it is that you're good at, realizing that, and uh, acknowledging those points to, uh, to overcome the imposter syndrome element. That's right. And in terms of what you were just mentioning, social media doesn't help any of us in this area, right? Mm, absolutely. Yeah, I think obviously we've all experienced it over the last uh, sort of decade or so with the, the real rise of social media. It's so easy to compare yep. somebody else's front of stage to your own behind the scenes. That's right. And that, that's what we tend to do. That's the biggest gap. So <laughs> if, we right. can, if, we can, if we can close that gap and realize that actually – um, everybody's got their behind the scenes, particularly on social media. Most people are portraying their, their best life, not their worst life. Of course. And, uh, and, and, and sort of create uh, comparisons, if we are going to do any comparisons at all, with where we've been and where we are. Um, and it's a far healthier way of, of, of comparing. That's right. That's right. Um, as a business strategist, what approach would you, uh, would, or should say, what, what advice would you have uh, for for businesses out there in an effort to help them scale and grow their business? 
I suppose the, the the number one for me, and this is where it comes back to having absolute clarity, is is knowing what you want. And, and what I mean by that is truly knowing what you want, not what you think you can get based on your current knowledge base, mm -hmm. but what would you want if you had Aladdin's lamp, you know, if there if there was Aladdin's lamp, would you happen to have uh, one right there? <laughs> just there, yeah, and it's it's for sale. Sure. Um, but no, if you had um, if you if you had Aladdin's lamp and 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 there was there was no restrictions, what would you want? And and starting with that um, as a as a place of where you want to go, rather than getting caught up in the tyranny of how. So many people think from a place of how I can get what I want based on my ex existing knowledge base rather than what they want. Sure. Um, that's a, a really, really wise place to start. Um, and then building on that with um, thinking about who do I need rather than the how. Sure. So what what new knowledge, what new people, what team can, can help make that happen sure. just as a, a when, headline. When you talk about that in terms of what you want, how far out do you go? Do you say, what, what do I want? Where do I want to end up in 20 years? Where do I want to end up in a year? What, like, what, what's your advice on that? that so I, um, I, I, I experienced firsthand what I call when then syndrome. Okay. So when I achieve X, then I'll be Y. You know, okay. I'll, when, when I achieve this, then I'll be happy. When I achieve this, then I'll be complete, whatever that is. And it becomes a hamster wheel that a lot of people get on. And yep. even if they've achieved what they want four or five times, then it becomes really unmotivating and unfulfilling. That's right. So I, I believe in creating something called a North Star, which is about having a goal in life mm -hmm. that's so big, you never achieve it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because then you can detach from the outcome and you can focus on the process instead. So mm -hmm. pushing it right out to as far as you, you can possibly imagine, whatever that may be, and then uh, and then working through that because then that way, by focusing on the, the process, you can get your fulfillment every day on the process instead. Sure, sure. On the road to this goal, this North Star that you were speaking of, um, a lot of entrepreneurs have got you know setbacks and, and maybe failures. I guess there's no such thing as a failure per se. I guess they're all at the very least a lesson. But, um, but there's a lot of entrepreneurs that deal with setbacks and challenges in business. Uh, what's your advice for them to stay on course and get up the next day and give it your all? So you're, you're absolutely right. There's, there's no such thing as failure, only feedback. And it's taking that and, and acknowledging that. But, but I think one of the things that is is worth noting in my experience firsthand and with, with thousands of people is that your lowest lows are directly correlated to your highest highs. So if mm -hmm. you're going through a tough time at the moment, then it's just knowing that it's on the way, um, not not in the way, and, uh, and, and being able to work through that. Um, focusing on where you're going and keeping focused on, on, on where you want to be and applying the, the process of gratitude, getting truly grateful. And I don't mean grateful for the good stuff, but getting grateful for the bad stuff too, which uh, is where the, the, the lessons come in, as you've rightly mentioned. That's right. You can't be angry when you're grateful, right? It's difficult to do both of those things at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah, very yeah. true. Yeah, no question about it. Will Polston, executive coach, author, speaker, podcast of Make It Happen with Will Polston. I suggest you all check it out. Uh, this is great advice. Uh, I wish time would allow for us to do a little bit longer uh, deep dive here because I think this content is exactly what so many entrepreneurs need. So thank you so much for joining us. I'd love to have you back on the show to talk more about these issues. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick exclusively on ASBN.com.